Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, I uh, have been meaning to update for a while, but it's been flat out because I've been getting ready to um, go to Japan. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow for Melbourne and staying there a few nights. Then I'm staying a few nights in Brisbane, uh, just seeing friends and family. And then uh, Thursday next week, 20th of September, I am off to Japan. So I'm getting pretty excited, but it's been pretty flat out, um, mainly sorting through all my stuff uh, and getting rid of a pile of stuff because um, my parents are letting me store some stuff at their place but not take over the entire house. Um, anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, something I had to do to get ready for Japan, which is not something that everyone will have to do, but for some people will be very important. And that is to do with bringing prescription medication into Japan. Um, now, I am in a position where I, I have to do this. Uh, I need to take some medication uh, every day. Um, and the way it works um, in Japan, I think you can bring uh, about a, a month's supply of non-prescription medication I mean, a month's supply of prescription medication with you to Japan without doing any paperwork. Uh, but I want to bring more than that because I want to make sure I don't run out and um, I plan on staying quite a while. Um, and somewhere down the line, hopefully, I will uh, sort out going to the doctor and getting my own prescription in Japan. But I just want to make sure I'm not caught out. So you have to apply for a, a special certificate called a Yakkan Um and to do this it's not too hard but you do have to allow a few weeks for it because they don't accept applications by uh, email or fax and you've got to post it to Japan so basically you've got to fill out all these forms um, then post it to Japan with a return envelope um, and they will hopefully get back to you um, with one of your forms officially stamped and you bring that with you to um, through customs and then they basically check it against the drugs you've got to make sure it matches. Um, so the things that you've got to fill out are um, where is it? I have it here somewhere. Okay so the stuff that you've got to fill out is um, an application form which is um, basically just uh, a general um, general detail. So you know you've got your name and address and phone number on it. Um, you have to do the name and the size of the products you're bringing in. So how how many? You know, if it's pills, you actually have to write how many pills you're bringing. Um, why you're bringing it? Where you're entering into the country? Um, and then you have, to, and you need to do two of those actually, two signed copies for some reason. Uh, you need to do a declaration form, which is just a form saying that the drugs are for your personal use and not for anything else. Uh, you need to do a form with an ex explanation of the products and, um, that stuff like, you have to, you have to do a bit of detail. You've got to do the name of um, the manufacturer of the, the drugs and where they're from. You need to put down what the active ingredient is, um, how many, any other ingredients that are in it, um, what they're for, and you actually have to describe the physical form of it. So, like, um, my, you know, mine is a box um, with aluminium laminate. That's just your typical thing of pills um, and uh, yeah and then you have to also have um, a copy of your prescription that's very important um, so you need to have your prescription and photocopy that um, and you also need to prove a document showing when you're enter entering into Japan so a flight itinerary basically will do it just a copy of that um, so you need to have a set date that you're going to Japan before you can apply for this. Um, and then another thing which they say isn't 
essential but is potentially useful, and I did this, is to have a letter from your doctor. Uh, and that was very easy. I just went to my doctor and said, this is what I'm doing, and he wrote me a letter basically saying, Jai needs to take these drugs um, for this condition. Um, so yeah, you just need to gather all those things together basically, and um, send it off. You also need to have, um, they make you cover everything. Uh, you can't just stick an envelope in there. You can. They want specifically you to include Japanese stamps um, for uh, for returning the letter to you, or um, they want you to include something else, which I can't remember the name of. Um, ah, right, okay. They want you to include um, either the Japanese postal stamps or, and excuse my terrible pronunciation, coupon Réponse International, um, which are like international stamps, basically. Um, and I found those just at my post office and, and chucked a bunch of them in there to make sure there was enough to get back to me. Um, and that was all fine. And a few weeks later, they sent it back to me. Um, this thing here. And basically, you just need to have this bit down the bottom showing you that's making it official that you are allowed to bring what's written on here into the country. Um, so I hope this helps some people. Uh, it was a bit of hunting around for me to find out exactly what I needed to do. Um, I'll include the link to get the form um, to use. I think it's an Australian link I've got, but it's the same same thing, I checked that as well, so don't worry about that. Um, and next time I talk to you, I'll probably be either in Melbourne, Brisbane, or Japan. Alright, bye.